Hi there, I'm Michael Posnick, a 30-year computer geek. Um, been into computers since they had 8-inch floppies and paper cards to program them. And today we're covering something I haven't been able to find a video on YouTube. And what that is, is the integration, you know, the usage of Gmail, replacing your traditional crappy email accounts that come with your either your telephone or cable supplier, and replacing it with a much more functional email account that you can access from anywhere and that will allow you to, to synchronize not only your email with your um, Outlook program or Thunderbird or whatever it is you use for your email but also the ability to synchronize it with your Blackberry, your iPhone and not only will you be able to synchronize your your email but also your contacts and calendars and everything else so I'm going to try to do this in under 10 minutes and the first step we're just going to whip through here things really quick uh, is creating a Gmail account so you go to gmail.com click on create an account down here the the right you would enter your uh, first and your last name and pick a, a logon name. This is going to be your email address. I suggest your first name, first initial, and your last name rather than something like Hot Mama 761 uh, It just sounds a little more professional and people typically, you know, if they haven't ever emailed with you and you've got a stupid sounding email address, they're probably not going to want to communicate with you. So seeing as we're all professionals here, um, we're just going to pick first name, last name click on check availability it is available the advantage of having a unique last name I'm going to type in a password which will be a combination of random numbers and letters there's so not dogs names pets names wife's name which anyone could guess security question we're just going to pick uh, what was your first phone number uh, type the 555 -1212. Uh, recovery email is an email, like if you lose your, your access to this account, it will send you your information to another account. So I'm just going to use my usual Gmail address here. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always email me there. And we have to, location is Canada. Uh, type in our secret code here. This keeps uh, computerized programs from registering millions of email addresses and using them for spamming or inevitably one day people will be selling Gmail accounts if they have unique names. And we click accept and it should create the account at this point and we're going to say show me my account. Probably going to tell me about Buzz. You can find out about that on your own. Uh, just go to my inbox. So there we've created our account. What you see here now I want to emphasize you never ever have to log on to Gmail again. I'll say that again. This is not Hotmail. You do not have to ever log on to Gmail ever again. You can access your contacts, your calendar, and your email through your Blackberry, your desktop, your notebook, or any other handheld or desktop device. So if you're not into HTML email, uh, which traditionally people would look at Hotmail, like when you have to log on, to, to you know through your browser to access your account. You don't have to do that with Gmail. What you can do is you can set it up as a IMAP server. And to find out more about the technical specifics of IMAP, just type in define IMAP on Google and you'll have reams of information on it. But a long story short, uh, what IMAP allows you to do if you had a, a notebook computer and maybe a desktop at work or a desktop at home maybe you have a Blackberry and or uh, an iPhone it allows you to synchronize the email among those devices and those platforms and let's say you're at a friend's house and you're expecting an email and you don't have any devices with you then and only then you can log on to the gmail.com platform and you can view your new email, send email and in addition to that you'll also have your contacts and optionally your calendar online as well but today we're going to focus on contacts and email. So to set up IMAP, just click on the settings here, which is just to the right of my new email address. And you're going to click here on forwarding IMAP. And uh, you're just going to enable IMAP by clicking this little doodad there, and we're done. Uh, the rest of the setup will be done on Outlook or uh, Thunderbird. And those programs explain how to do that. I strongly suggest you get rid of 
outlook at all costs unless you're tied to it uh, and look at Thunderbird which you can get from uh, a website that is getfirefox.com and this will allow you to download Thunderbird and as long as you're getting rid of Outlook you might as well get rid of that other product called uh, Internet Explorer which is an also, also another flawed product that both of which that and Outlook are just super susceptible to uh, viruses, and trojans and everything else so there's Thunderbird so you download that it will figure out that Gmail's on IMAP and you're set up and you can throw Thunderbird on your notebook you can put it on your desktop at work, your desktop at home if you go to uh, your Blackberry there is an app called Gmail Sync that you can download and it will synchronize your uh, Gmail account on your Blackberry and you set up your Gmail account on your Blackberry by going through their proprietary system where you add an email address um, and it will also, there's also utilities to synchronize with the iPhone so getting back to Gmail here um, one other thing you can do is if you do have one of those I'll refer to them as crappy email addresses on a proprietary ISP like your cable or telephone supplier what you can do is you can go over here to accounts and you can uh, you can hook up Gmail to those old Hotmail accounts and still be receiving mail from those other accounts up until such time as you disconnect them so you're not losing any mail from those old accounts uh, me, in the meantime you're applying to all these people using Gmail and you can maybe put on the tagline that you've changed over to Gmail finally came to your senses and realized it was a better way to go so on to contacts we have three minutes uh, contacts basically I use this for all my contact management including notes email addresses and phone numbers I meet somebody you know, let's say I met uh, Joe Blow here today. Uh, his email address is joe at joe.com. Phone number 555-5555. Save. So now he's in my database, and that will synchronize automatically once it's set up. Uh, there's a little utility you can get for Thunderbird. It will synchronize with Thunderbird. And again, you can synchronize with the BlackBerry, the iPhone. There's little utilities that will do that. And I can also create groups here. Since I'm in real estate, we can create a group called, um, oh, we'll call it buyers. So these will be people that are buying real estate. And Joe Blow is a buyer. And when we click over here, over where it says My Contacts, uh, we click on Buyers, and there's Joe Blow. And it wouldn't matter whether I have, you know, two buyers or 20,000. It will keep track of them all and separate them separate them and they also automatically Gmail sets up a category for friends, family, co-workers, buyers. If I wanted to add another group I could add uh, you know sellers or whatever. Uh, click this over here. This will add a group. Call it sellers. So now we have sellers. So now if we have a seller, his sister, Emily Blow, let's say I just have her phone number. Um, so I save her and I want to add her to uh, sellers so she's there and uh, now if I click on the sellers tab it brings up sellers there's my buyers there's my co-workers which I don't have any of and that's how she works so in the future I may do another one just on IMAP and just on the contacts and integration with the Blackberry and the iPhone and all that stuff but that's basically how Gmail is going to replace your crappy email address that your telephone company and your cable company knew full well that you would keep subscribing to their service because you are locked into their proprietary email address. With Gmail, you're not locked into anybody and you can change high speed internet suppliers on a whim. Uh, so that's it for now. Have a good day.